I generally prefer to stay with friends because uh, you know friends uh, make make me happy uh, and uh, you know they they take away my sadness uh, because of this I um, I feel I'm um, I'm gifted you know uh, if 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 I spend time al alone with well do you also think that you become this person that I just showed in your IELTS speaking exam well if as then why that happens how to overcome this with eight killer strategies if you want to make most out of this video make sure you watch the video till the end hey everybody nakul here from skill styles really hope everybody is doing fantastic i'm back with at another super awesome pop act video on eight killer strategies to get that band eight in your ielts speaking well before we get into the video if not subscribe to this channel kindly click on the subscribe button at any time you need online assistance it's a paid assistance you can check the information in the description of this video we have left a whatsapp link you can click on the link send us a message i'll be there we will be there to help you get in the right direction all right without further delay let's try to get right into the video the very first killer strategy to get that band eight in ielts speaking is to speak slow but going in a rhythm remember in your idp website the score criteria for a ielts speaking fluency nowhere in the score guide it is mentioned that fluency means fast let me just read out what is mentioned in the score guide for a band 9 fluency and coherence it says speak fluently with only rare repetition or self correction meaning very rare self correction very rare fumbles but it is not mentioned that you need to speak fast let's consider band 8 it says speaks fluently with only occasional repetition or self correction hesitation is usually content related and only rarely to search for language let's also consider band 7 speaks at length without noticeable effort or loss of coherence may demonstrate language related hesitation at times so hesitation is also fine as long as it is very rare but nowhere even i used a binocular to search for the word fluency means speak fast i don't know why this um, is the assumption people end up thinking if they need to be fluent it means only one way out they need to speak fast you speak fast 100% gone case you will not be able to express yourself you will not be able to convey you will not be able to go i know without putting much effort this will go crazy the tongue goes crazy when you're speaking fast you're rushing all the thoughts at once this may be intelligent but not your tongue as a result tongue will get twisted fumbles hesitations as a result what you want to convey you will not be able to convey so what is the best killer strategy for this see right now you may think i'm speaking fast i'm not speaking fast i'm speaking slow one after the other the words that are coming out of my mouth right they are one after the other but the only thing that i'm changing is the tempo the rhythm remember i'm trying to speak at a rhythm i'm trying to speak a bit more continuous that is the clue if i speak fast probably i'll, I'll this happens if i speak slow but go at a rhythm the rhythm is not no it is just this that 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 this is the speed that i am speaking with i'm not going fast rather i'm actually going slow but to people who are listening to this it feels like okay this guy is speaking perfectly fine i may be going slow but because of my rhythm i'm going at a constant speed it seems that i am going at a proper flow this is required and when you get this oh there are so many perks with that you can express what you want you get time to think right now i am speaking slow but continuous and also i am trying to buffer the things that i have to speak next i buy out time i go a little slow and speak at a stretch without any fumbles without any hesitations this is the fluency for all these things only one thing that you need to inject into your mind don't speak fast but rather go slow but with a proper rhythm well that's the killer strategy number 1 for you the second killer strategy to get that band 8 in ielts speaking is to have a predefined structure or a skeletal or a template so let's see the usage of having a structure let me first demonstrate you with a part one question for a student who lacks the knowledge of structure let's take up this particular question do you prefer to spend your free time alone or with friends why well this is the question a student who doesn't have a structure or a skeletal would randomly speak something like this i think spending free time with friends is always better friends make me laugh and share my sorrow friends are good in a way they'll be there for me any point of time if i stay alone 
I may be sad all the time. So this doesn't have any structure. It's just shooting one thought, one thought, one thought, ra random thoughts without making any connection, without making any story. That's the reason some movies you don't like because the screenplay is so bad, the narration is so bad. Then how to be a good narrator, good structure because in your score criteria for your IELTS speaking, first one is fluency and coherence. Coherence is all the narration. You speak something like this, gone case meant 5.56, then how to do it? Let me just show you with a proper structure. I generally prefer to spend my free time with friends because I enjoy the social interaction and shared experiences. Main idea, they asked a question, what is your name? My name is. They asked a question, do you prefer to spend your free time alone or with a friends? I spend my free time with friends because blah, 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 blah. Answering to the question, that's the first line. Second line, continue talking about it. You got to talk a little more about the friends, isn't it? Being with friends often leads to spontaneous fun and memorable moments that I wouldn't get on my own. I continue talking about the friend. But then the question has two things. Do you, you know, um, want to spend time with your friends or yourself. Why not yourself? You got to talk. So, however, that's a new thing. That's a connector. However, I do value some lonely time or alone time for relaxation and pursuing personal hobbies. And then I conclude. Balancing both helps me recharge and stay connected with others. So, here we have a main idea, continuation of the main idea, supporting idea. And then we contrasted with other part of the question before concluding. This is a structure. You can have any structure, but for a question or something like this, the structure that you use should align with the question. Here you need to talk about that however because there are two parts to the question. It's simple if you have a structure. In our course, we give you structures, we give you one-to-one -one feedback. Anytime you need a course, send us a message to the number or the, to the link given in the description of this video, we will do the needful. The third killer strategy is to have a mixture of simple sentence compound sentence and complex sentence. Why? Because part of your answer needs you to have good grammatical skills. Grammatically, you need to produce different ways of speech so that examiner would know that, okay, you are aware of these grammar sorts of things and get you a good score. So what I mean by simple sentence, compound and complex, let's see a demonstration with a simple example. If there's the question, what's your favorite season of the year and why? They're asking season. Now I'm gonna talk with a particular season. Let's check the answer. I really love autumn because the weather is pleasant and the scenery is beautiful with all the colorful leaves. So let's consider this particular statement. It has two independent sentences connected using a connector. I really love autumn because the weather is pleasant and the scenery is beautiful with all the colorful leaves. I've got two simple sentences connected with the connector it becomes a compound sentence. Although, the moment you start a sentence with the word although, though, even though, while, if, when, since, despite, in spite of, like this, there are so many subordinate conjunctions. When you start the sentence with these or when you put them in the middle, it becomes a complex sentence. You start the sentence with although, although it is raining, comma, I went out. You are forced to speak two sentences. Correct. So now, although summer is great for vacations and spending time outdoors, comma, autumn brings a cozy feeling with cooler temperatures. Now my two sentences are done. First one was a compound sentence. Second one is a complex sentence. Now I'm left with simple sentences to be told. Next, I'll continue with simple sentence. Plus, it's the perfect season for enjoying hot drinks and pumpkin flavored treats. Here, and is not connected. It's a conjunction. Ram and Sita are good couples. I want to eat pancake and noodles. That and is not a connector, it's a conjunction. This is a simple sentence. So, overall, I find autumn to be the most enjoyable time of the year. Again, simple sentence. So, I've got one compound, one complex, two simple sentences. This is what is required. Instead of that, what people end up doing, speaking only compound complex sentences. As a result, again, your marks go down. Remember this. The fourth killer strategy is to speak in a most simplistic way, the most simple way possible. Don't complicate it. See, now in this video, I'm trying to take things in a very simple way possible because I want you guys to understand without putting much effort. The same way will go, the same logic will go good in your exam, isn't it? So let me show you two versions, one with a very simple way of speech. Second is very complicated way of speech. 
let's check it out. My preferred season is autumn due to its temperate climate, which is neither excessively hot nor cold, thereby facilitating a comfortable outdoor experience. So if you look at this particular statement, right, the very first thing here used is a relative clause, complex sentence using the word which that creates a loop. My preferred season is autumn due to its temperate climate, which totally fine to use is neither excessively hot nor cold, thereby not required when why are you you know creating a loop under loop under loop and then ending it ending it ending it for a listener it's very difficult to understand what you meant instead what you could have done let's have a look at it i like the autumn the most the weather is nice and cool and the leaves are pretty very simple way to speak it's a good time for wearing sweaters and drinking hot drinks summer is fun too but autumn feels more relaxing you just observe this this is more detailed more fine-tuned. A person who listens to it will understand with this, he doesn't or she doesn't have to put a lot of effort to, you know, make out what the person is trying to say. As opposed to the first one, where the listener needs to have a very good listening skill. Make it simple, man. Don't complicate it. And if you are thinking that you complicate it, you get more marks. That's a completely wrong way of thinking. Make it very simple like the way I am doing it in this video so that you guys understand better. The same way you make it simple in the exam so that examiner understands it in a much easier way possible. The fifth killer strategy is not to force yourself to include some advanced words. Well, this is, um, you know, going on in the media. Use synonyms, use some advanced words, you get more marks, you don't get any marks for that. What is the best way out? The best way out is to use the words that are apt for the situation. Let me give you a demonstration on the same. Look at this sentence. I prefer autumn because of its mild weather, which is neither too hot nor cold. The changing colors of the leaves are beautiful and make everything look perfect. This is absolutely fine. You may think hey, all simple words used. Absolutely fine for band 7.5 or 8. But let's see another version which gives you band 6 or 6.5. Alright. I prefer autumn due to its temperate atmosphere. Mild weather was fine. We use temperate atmosphere. Still fine chalega. Which is neither excessively torrid or frigid. All these are the words that people would have, you know, searched in the internet. Synonym of hot, synonym of cold and then memorize them. Please don't do all these things. Use the words which the situation demands. The foliage. Well, foliage is a good terminology, but not required. You can say the leaves transforms into a visually stimulating array of chromatic variations because people use color, synonym of color, they would have memorized absolute time waste, creating a picturesque environment. Picturesque environment is still fine, but that's what use something that, um, you know, is apt for the situation. Don't use something that situation doesn't demand and doesn't even fit inside it. Please remember this. The sixth killer strategy is to see your examiner as a dear friend. Only because, see, when you talk to your friend, you don't fumble. You don't have that nervousness issue. And you talk freely. That creates a good ambience. But if you don't see the examiner as your dear friend, trust me, this goes crazy. First thing is this. If this is not fixed, the rest of the things will be automatically gone. Isn't it? So let me give you the advantages as to why this kind of a mindset can be really beneficial. First thing is it reduces your stress. Seeing the examiner as a friend can help lower your stress levels, making it easier to speak naturally and confidently. The second thing is it encourages your conversation. Remember, it can shift your focus from just answering questions to an engaging and a genuine conversation, which results in a more fluid and dynamic response, isn't it? The third thing, the best thing that it does is it boosts your confidence. If you think the examiner as your dear friend, someone is there to support you rather than judge you, trust me, it will 100% boost your confidence and improve your overall performance. The fourth thing is it creates the positive atmosphere. A friendly mindset can help you create a positive and comfortable atmosphere, which can definitely be reflected in your answers. With all these perks and many more, I'd request you to just treat this mind in a way that it can consider the examiner as a dear friend. The seventh killer strategy is to speak less, but speak what is required. See, so always remember, the more you speak, the more mistakes you make. Give what is required doesn't mean that you speak so less that the situation, um, you know, is not completely answered. They'll ask you a question. You answer whatever is required. For example, in the part one, 20 to 25 seconds is more than enough. 
Doesn't mean that if you speak 50 seconds, you get less scores. Most likely, yes, because the more you speak, the more mistakes you make. Cue card, prepare for two to two and a half minutes. There are chances that examiner may stop you at one minute, you know, uh, 40 seconds or 50 seconds. Or sometimes the examiner will not even stop you. You have to continue speaking. So the idea is, yes, see the scenario and then decide to speak. But fix your thoughts. The more I speak, the more mistakes I make. Whatever is required. Only till that point I'm gonna answer. This is gonna be a really helpful strategy. Remember this. The eighth and the last strategy is, guys, remember this line, clarity is the king. Say at the end of the day, whatever you speak, someone has to understand whatever is just being really amazing. This is what people end up doing in most of the times. Correct? You gotta open your mouth every day when you practice. Correct? You practice by recording it or asking your friend to review it. Listen to your friend's feedback or listen to your own recording and understand. At some point of time, people when they're nervous, when they're going in a flow, they tend to swallow the words. That's the reason. This is where the first strategy comes into picture. Speak slow. When you speak slow, automatically things will be clearer. And to make it more clearer, you just open the mouth a bit more wider with an intention that whatever I speak, it should not go wasted. Someone who listens to me should understand it. When you open the mouth, automatically your speed will reduce. Try out these things, you know, when you practice on an everyday basis. All these are real killer strategies that will guarantee that band eight in your IELTS speaking at the earliest. All right, guys, so I think that's all for today. I really hope I've made an informative content. If you really like this content, like, share, and subscribe, and leave your valuable comments in the comment section. With this, I'll park it here. This is Nakul, N-A-K-U-L, Nakul signing off from Skills Soon, we'll be back. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Thanks much.